Uh, the D.C. Council is now fine-tuning a bill that allows individuals to carry concealed handguns in public in the district, but with a strict application process and several restrictions. And as Mike Kaneen reports tonight, some say those restrictions go too far. Others say not far enough. Responding to a court ruling, the D.C. Council last month passed temporary emergency legislation allowing concealed carry in D.C. Now district lawmakers are working on a permanent bill that requires gun owners to demonstrate why they need to carry a gun. You have been threatened. You are the victim of stalking. You are the victim of domestic violence. Once they pass background checks and safety training to get a permit, they cannot carry weapons near the White House or inside government buildings, schools, public transportation, and many other locations. And some want even more restricted sites. Keeping guns out of churches. We also suggest keeping guns out of polling places. But others complain there are too many restrictions. Let's take the focus off the legal gun owners and focus like a laser on the, the drug dealers and folks who use guns to rob people. Critics of the bill say they're particularly concerned about language regarding motorcades. How's a concealed carry permit holder supposed to know a motorcade is in the area or approaching them? Even council members acknowledge that motorcades are a part of daily life in Washington, especially on streets like Pennsylvania Avenue. A thousand feet, it's hard for me to know what's happening in a thousand feet of every direction, me you know, being the center of that a thousand foot circle or a radius anywhere you can draw it. And I might not be able to leave at the moment. I might be into something that I just can't pick up all my things and go when I see a foreign dignitary coming. Motorcades are unique and they're very different and not all motorcades are the same. So I think there's where we have to kind of get down a little bit Close, closer detail. When the rules are finalized, Chief Lanier says the permit application process will begin October 23rd. Those rejected can appeal MPD's decision to a board appointed by the mayor. In Northwest, Mike Kinnean, ABC 7 News.